Hi guys, so I'm on the XFCE themed edition. Uh, this is the date and time of today, 2nd July. And yesterday I released the Arch Linux GUI's July update. So on SourceForge, yesterday was on SourceForge and today was on OSDN. Uh, why is that so? Because my network is little bit slow. So I cannot upload all of the 10 ISOs or 9 ISOs for in this month. So I can't release all of the 9 ISOs on both platforms simultaneously on a single day. So this is what I'll be, uh, this is what I'll be doing. SourceForge on the first and OSDN on the second of each month. So that's how uh, it will go. Uh, always SourceForge is going to be the main page because the website SEO is also on top. So if you, for example, go and search for Arch Linux GUI on Google, which I think you should do, uh, then you can see that the SourceForge uh, link is on the second number. So that is why uh, SourceForge and, and of course SourceForge uh, page has existed for like now six months already and OSDN is just a month old now. So not even a month old actually. So SourceForge always is going to be the main page. If you are having troubles downloading from SourceForge, the speed is slow, then you can always go ahead to OSDN. That is an, always an option from now onwards. All right, so downloading the ISO is obviously uh, the same way. You can go to files, which is over here, and you can see whatever outside is vanilla Arch Linux, and then inside the experimental editions folder, there is one edition known as the Zen edition, which has uh, these following features, which differ it from vanilla Arch Linux. Uh, this is not going to be released on the first, like all of the editions that I released yesterday. Uh, it will be released uh, once in every two months. So that I've already talked about in a separate video. Uh, yesterday's release, nine editions, the minimal edition has been phased out because it really served no purpose. So nine editions, Plasma, Gnome, XFCE, Cinnamon, and then i3. And then uh, for the desktop environments, you get the pure and themed edition. The pure editions are stock desktops and the uh, themed editions, you get the features and everything. I've already done a video on that. So if you're new to the project, you should go ahead and check that out. I'll put the links, all of these links in the description. All right, you can read the new readme that I have put here. The readme has been updated. Uh, also, uh, you can go ahead and see the change log and the checksums. So let's go ahead and see the change log first. So the logs have been made since April and uh, these are the changes that I've made um, that are being made that have been made uh, on July uh, for the for, for the yesterday's release. So the uh, parallel downloads thing is there, XFC, uh, bunch of issues were there, uh, these three, so they have been uh, changed. Uh, Wi-Fi icon is there in i3 edition, uh, the, uh, someone I think on the uh, GitHub issues pointed out that GNOME software wasn't working. So fix that, added GNOME software to Cinnamon desktop, obviously on the themed edition only. And then uh, as you probably know, uh, I'll just go to Armano's page. This is of course not logged in. Uh, let's go to EF Linux made simple. Uh, and if you know about this, the uh, grub update basically, where is the video? Uh, this one. So basically Grub uh, refused to allow OS Prober to basically recognize uh, other uh, distributions or operating systems. So uh, there was a fix here and then that has been added uh, to the July releases. And of course uh, the installer has some improvements. The website is live like I've already told in the previous video and the OSDN thing. The website is of course uh, undergoing a lot of changes. So that's about uh, SourceForge re release. Let's go to the OSDN page. So in order, you, this is the whole page. So you want to go to download file list. This will basically lead you to the releases page. OSDN.net slash project slash arch Linux GUI slash releases. This is OSDN, right? On SourceForge, it, it, on SourceForge, it is SourceForge.net slash project slash arch Linux GUI slash files. So that's the difference. All right, so you get the experimental edition as well as the uh, plain normal editions, which are the themed and pure editions. So all of all nine of them are here and here as well, obviously. Like I said, SourceForge, uh, because of the SEO uh, 
search engine optimization. So because of the SEO, uh, SourceForge is always going to be the main page. It has existed since the past six months. Uh, and OSDN is only just because some of you uh, probably have problems downloading from SourceForge. So that's why this is here. You can download them. Uh, so let's come to checksums. For checksums in SourceForge, I have, you can obviously click here and then look at SHA-1 and MD-5. Uh, but what I've been providing is SHA-256 checksums. Uh, these are used to verify your downloads. So let's go ahead to this TXT file here. This file is strictly maintained by myself. If you are on a Linux distribution already, uh, whether it's Debian based, Fedora based, or Red Hat based, or something like Manjaro or Arco, which is based on Arch already, you can just open your terminal and then write in this SHA-256 sum and the name of the ISO that you have downloaded. The checksums are here. And basically if uh, the output gives you the same string as whatever ISO you have downloaded over here, for example, let's say you downloaded the Plasma flagship edition, which is also known as the Plasma themed edition. You have to type in, in the terminal, uh, wherever you have it downloaded, uh, probably in your downloads folder, SHA-256 sum and then name of the ISO which is Arch Linux GUI Plasma 21 2021-07 and you get the point, right? If you get this string exact as it is, then uh, the download is, uh, the, the integrity of the download is there, it's maintained and that's the legit download. Uh, also, there are some GUIs out there to help you do this, but this is the best and fastest way. Uh, on Windows, you can open your PowerShell. Uh, I think you have to do this uh, with administrative privileges and you can type in the following command. Again, ISO name is going to be the name of the ISO that you downloaded. And if you are on Mac OS, I've seen a lot of people from Mac OS uh, who are downloading the ISOs, which is very good. Uh, then you have to open your Mac terminal and type in this command. Again, ISO name is going to be the name of the ISO. And whether you're doing this on Linux, Windows or Mac, uh, you should get this string. Otherwise, the uh, download is not legit. Uh, also, uh, there is, yeah, this is the date of the this is the date of build. DOB stands for date of build on the date which the ISO was built. So that's just general knowledge over here. Uh, yeah, so this is what I want to say. SourceForge, OSDN. This is the website that has to be updated right now. It's still showing the June uh, change log. So this has to be updated, obviously. YouTube channel I already talked about in the previous video. You can uh, there's a simpler URL now. So you can just go to, uh, I've linked over here, uh, all of this OSDN and uh, website and SourceForge. You can always go ahead and search for Demon Killer ALG and that will lead you to my YouTube page. Uh, yeah, the spelling is wrong. Demon Killer ALG and that will lead you to my YouTube page. Also, uh, some, uh, not some actually, a lot of you uh, talked about Discord server and Telegram. So both of those uh, social media links will be linked over here and on the website and you know, uh, probably if there's an option on SourceForge and OSDN. So the Discord server link and the Telegram group uh, will be linked over here. So this is about it. I think uh, I've covered each of the points that I wanted to cover. So yeah, enjoy the July release. Uh, the July release is stable. And uh, before we close, I, yeah, I wanted to tell you about beta ISOs. So these are only on SourceForge. And right now I have released Mate. So Mate desktop is here, the pure edition, of course. And uh, you should keep out, keep a watch on these, this folder, which is the beta ISO folder. Uh, and like you can see over here, uh, things over here are temporary and probably unstable and uh, they'll be moved to either the main section or the experimental edition section. Uh, so this is the main section and the experimental edition section is that. So yeah, you kind of have a new desktop environment, which is Mate, but it's obviously beta. So you need to be aware of that. And also keep a watch out because I'm experimenting with Sway. Um, the config file for i3 is compatible uh, as for what I've tested out right now. So those of you who want to uh, switch to Wayland, uh, you can take a look at this way. I'll, I'll put this somewhere in this month. I'm also working on BSPWM and Mate. Obviously, yes, I'm working on Mate. I'm also looking at Budgie and LXQt. So we'll take a look at what comes out. 
I'll obviously inform you guys uh, through videos on YouTube, obviously. So that's about it. Enjoy the July release and thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.